have to, I need hand taking the trunk, the engine bonnet off the Ferrari. I've well, taken you, it off you, you, by myself you, before, but it's dicey because you, you can't get on both sides of the car at once, right? Welcome back. We got Jim in the house. Where are you going, Jim? You're going to help me take this hood off. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> well, you're going to give a speech, so I'm standing back, keeping my mouth shut. A speech? There's no speech. What are going to do? What we're going to do? We're going to get the hood off. What, what, this is my plan for today. We're going to try to take the hood off. No, we're not going to try. We're going to take the hood off, and I'm just going to set it over here on the bench. I got Jim and John. They're going to help us. Uh, I got. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take and we got the LS or the 5.3 engine over there. I want to get the hood off and try the engine in and see if it's going to fit the mounts that I welded in there. We've got an oil pan off. A, I think it's a truck engine. Watch the sweetheart behind you. There's a truck oil pan on it. I do not know if the mounts that are welded in the car are going to fit the engine or not. So basically, that's what I want to try. And I got Jimbo here to help me today. There's the engine sitting there. So I've got a bunch of a bunch of stuff to do, actually. You've got to hook up the, the chains on the engine, get that situated, get the picker over here, get the engine on top, and just try to slide it down in there. Already, I'm going to turn on the air compressor. we got some air going. Air. Yeah, I'm going to just use air instead of the ratchet. Jim said his car turned out awesome. His car turned yeah. out awesome. And uh, he yeah. used urethane. It wasn't a base clear. He used no, urethane. urethane. Yep. I f I'm so happy that, that, that you've done so good because yeah. I sprayed urethane and I know a person that could buff it if I need it. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't sand it. With, I could not sand it with a block, though. I had to go by hand. Uh, I had to keep very lightly on the hand pressure or the paint gummed up in the sandpaper yeah but as long as i didn't put any pressure on it um it worked good it worked I, real good i don't think i just don't like the process uh oh no it, um endless do you want to do you endless want, do you want to do the bolts or hold the hood what would you rather no you do the bolts i i can hold okay I, I'll hold. you got one side john you want to take the other side You got that side there? Um, put your hand on the corner. Yeah, you got her. That way, if it moves, your hand gets pinched rather than... That way there, don't scratch the car. It goes back and jams your fingers. Did it? Um, yes. Actually, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. How come it's not coming off? It will here in a second. No, it's okay, just a minute now. There's two. I got, there's three on each side. Oh. Good thing Ooh, you said that, Jim. I'm trying, trying to haul it off. Ah, uh, there it's You're free on that end. I'll try to hold the front if I can. Oh, no, I'm okay. We're okay. I think. Get your finger there. Oh. Get up. Jim, you holding that off? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, just a second here. I get this. No, nope, we got one more here. It's heavy. Okay, Alrighty. yeah, we're off. Yeah. Just gonna go over to the bench there. Bench right behind you, Jimbo. Yep. On that side of the bench. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. Looks Hold good, don't it? Go over that way. Yep. Cool. Mm, so basically what I'm going to do thought. is I'm going to take out where that bolt drop to on the floor. <coughs> bolt flying somewhere. I guess it doesn't much matter. It's right there. As fast as you turn things out and do amazing work, it's a good thing because it's a big process to finish a car. Isn't oh my it? goodness! Jim was coming you know, on. It's to almost me this like 
Huh? Like no time to waste. Like no time to, to get waste. these things done in one lifetime, you have to work like 20 hours a day. You have to work hard, don't you? Yeah. You do. And no one can take, you can't take it to somewhere else to have some little thing done, you know, because you can't afford it. You have to do, you have to learn basically to do everything yourself. Basically, eh? Get that in there. Jim was telling me this morning that I used too much tape. Yeah, way too much. It was hard to watch. <laughs> it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. Uh, I, as I said, I, I use tape. I stick it on glass and I reuse it so it loses some of its stick power and everything. But, uh, yeah. You as long as you watch, though. Way too much tape. As long as you watch. Way too much tape. <laughs> <laughs> Probably I think could. you did it on purpose just to get people to talk. <laughs> just, <laughs> could have been. <laughs> kind of like a, what? Chad, who do you think you're talking to here? No one tapes up that much. You always grab a little bit of paper in there. You don't put a lot of tape and a little bit of paper. You use a lot of paper and a little bit of tape. But, but <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh. I always put it on there just to see if the paint job's <laughs> yeah. good or not. Well, it was. It paid. It worked. It worked. Jeez. Yeah. If I'd have known, I'd have kept that tape and give it to you. <laughs> well. Yeah, you used pretty well a whole lifetime supply of tape in in no time at all. Basically. I hope that engine, I hope it fits, but we'll see. We'll see. You want this. <laughs> Just check that right there. I want. Um, probably got to turn that around now, take that in there, and put it up here, and then we'll put the bolt through there on that. You know what I'm saying? I give it to you. I just want it turned around. You know what I'm saying? So we'll put that in there and put that on the perfect. Perfect. Put John right to work. Oh, I got no bolt on that. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna take this. That's piece not out. a 350 Chev, is it? That's a that's a three five point three. So that's a, the new. That's one of those uh, Corvette motors. Well, it's or, it's it's out of a truck, but they I guess it's I don't know what well, they. Well, it's a pretty high performance looking motor. Yeah, that's what they're. Oh look at, ooh we got dust. Yeah, a little bit of dust. Yeah. I did the the front of the hood, got the hood to line up, got that fit. I actually forgot to even show that, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, always tomorrow. There's always tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just gonna get this piece out. See, I don't know, I've never had the LS engine in, so I do not know if it fits um, or not. I welded the mounts in for a 350. Jim, you wanna give John a hand, just hold that if he bolts, I'll just, pull. I got, yeah. Let's take these out. And then we'll use these ones. And I've got a wrench right there on the floor. Things screaming at me. Jim, will you put your hand on that way, please? Oh. Well, 
that's a cool way to do that. Well, I've got louvers that are going on, uh, louvers uh, that are going on top of that because okay, cover yeah. the engine up. I saw that, yes. And that fits on top of that. Oh, okay. And that's how I did that. So basically, I just want to get the engine in it to find out if it even fits yet or not. Because that it, them them mounts there, I took and cut off a off a, a mount that I had. It had a mount for 350, and I cut it off. And I don't know if um, if they're going to fit right or not. And that, what's that? Too tight? Or it didn't went all the way? What didn't you like? You can always bolt these on a little bit on an angle to put your motor on an angle. Like if you just you know what I mean? Like these don't have to be square. Like they can bolt on there a little bit crooked if you want your motor to sit on a little bit of an angle. They can. I'm hoping. Just go like that. Because someone told me you're not, it's not a good idea to have your drive shaft running straight. Things have to be out of square in order to keep the universal joints properly turned, they'll in stay in one position it is, it? and wear themselves out. Tighten right up. That's good. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll flatten that one out. And I can always. So this motor's fuel injected, or it is. Mm -hmm. Going to the new age. Yeah, one of those. I was going to go just a unit kind of thing where they take care of everything for you. Yes, we have a computer and the whole yeah, bit. Yeah, we bought a wiring harness for it. Just, we'll go over oh, everything. Oh, cool! That's... Yeah, they're they they got a good. A lot of people have said a lot of good things about them. Yeah, I yeah I guess. Like uh, even if you drive where the weather is different, it'll make the adjustments for you, so the thing's always staying in tune. I guess. Like I don't, I don't know much about it to be no. honest with you. I know that um, you're not, st you know, pressing on the gas all the time to try to get it to start um, and all that sort of stuff. Well, I know with say a four barrel, if you don't have it right on the money, yeah, somewhere's it's not up to where it's supposed to be. Like unless you really, especially if you have multiple, you know, like three carburetors or something. Yes, yeah, um, so I like I like carburetion. You though. Re you re you gotta like usually something's off but usually where you drive it you have it working good to where you want to drive it but we're going to see if but it fits we have anyways. fuel injection it, it's it's a uh, foolproof it's a spot on he's got the computer he or he done mm -hmm. uh, dane, dane is his name from sackville he, he, he cleared a computer for me so okay. i don't know anything about it to be honest with you all, all i know is that they're, that they're supposed to be very reliable it does all the work for you. Yes. And I don't need yeah. that. I, I, I know how to drive with my foot. Yeah. And you know when something's flooding and you have to generally, fix it. But. Generally, that is. Yeah. Like, generally. Generally. That's all I've ever driven is a carbureted engine. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I know on the Oldsmobile, the Quattro Jet, um, I'm having troubles with it. Um, are trying to get the floats low enough because it, it's still flooding. Like it runs all right, but gas is leaking right over around. Like the floats are sitting too high. But okay. And I've had it apart probably five or six times, and it's hard to adjust. It doesn't. It doesn't want to be bent to be out of like. You, it's hard to adjust it. Yes, I understand it's, exactly. It's hard to adjust about. it. I think what I'll do is I'll bring that engine over this way. Yeah. And then. Oh, don't spill my pop. What? Don't spill your Pepsi, no, man. No. All righty. See what happens here. I'm going to leave the transmission off at the present moment. I'm pretty sure the transmission will fit. More well, we know it'll hard. fit in there because that's a fairly big hole. Isn't it? I just don't know if the motor mounts are going to be, be it's right it's going to be a little tricky to get it down by the motor mounts and miss this. No need. It's going to... Also, I've got to put the intake on it and see if yeah. the intake is below the piece that I've made for this here, right? Because I've got louvers I made for the top of it. And I want to see if the intake misses because the intake's quite high on that. 
But this is where I have to go. I don't really want to do the transmission on it right now. Just make it that much more hard. I think it will. Harder. If the, if the mounts fit, that, that'll make me happy. If the mounts don't fit, then I won't be happy. You have headers for it. I'm going to actually have to acquire some. Okay. Just, you see the big hole? Oh, you just want to make sure. You're just eyeing up to see how much room you have to play with. I'm just to trying to find out if this fits or if these one... fit or not. Oh, okay. Because I, yeah. I put them in there without, without the engine. There's for a 350. Mm -hmm. And see the holes are cut in the chassis? Yep. That's for the exhaust to go through? Yeah, oh dear. Yep. Yes. So it's, it's mock-up day. I've got the hood fixed, so the hood fits now, so I don't have to take the hood back off and on. I can prime it, block it, have it ready to paint for the underneath of it like the trunk lid. So now I can get underneath the hood and do all that sort of stuff. I still have to fill out the firewall, I'll fill yeah. out all that stuff. That takes time, obviously. Um. I don't know why they don't make these engine stands and these engine cranes fit together. You, start, you put an engine on them things yeah. and the legs on top of them things, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you got to put it in sideways. Yeah. Like it's... Yeah. doesn't make sense to me sometimes. And the wheels don't swivel on the front, they swivel on the back. Yeah. On these engine stands. Oh, I had one mine at home swivels on the front well, this one but now. on a slightly rough floor you can't move it yeah. when you get the motor up there it won't move you you have to hook chant come alongs on to it to pull it across the floor yeah bigger wheels. just the just slightly rough pay, cement uh you cannot move it and nine sixteenths on the back of that there they john that nine sixteenths in there are two Oh, just pull them out, just pull them out, will you? geez, I think this is going to be in the way of the windshield. We'll see. Won't I we? think the motor's going to go right back in here. I think you're going to have to hook it from east to west rather than north to south. Like you're going to have to hook it from here to here instead of here to here because I think all this is underneath that windshield part. Because here you got the motor mounts. And you're only like a foot, and you're already here, and a foot back is where that chain is going to hit on this before the motor's down. Here. Sec, John. Just sec. John, because uh, uh. you're only like a foot back, all this is going to be in the way of that windshield uh, area there. So I should maybe hook on here. Uh, there and there, yeah, I think so. All right, let's put that back on, John, if you will, if you can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that won't go down in because your motor is going to be right in underneath that. And all this is... Good call. Good call. Well, you know, once it's like that um, windshield on the Oldsmobile, you knew we were putting the rubber on backwards. And you didn't, you want to stay <laughs> polite, so you didn't say anything. And we spent like 10 minutes putting that miserable rubber on, time. and then uh, I had to give you shit for not speaking <laughs> up. Well, well, I can see that that is going to hit, so I just thought I'd mention it. Because it, it is kind of close, and the motor does go in underneath there. Like, it's your call, but... Yeah, it does look like it's going to It's good. affect like, it. Let's take the Like, the off. motor will fit, but it's just this I think it's going to hit. Let's take these off. And we'll move it on on the side. We might have to move it. Yeah, we'll just move it on the side. It's pressure. Off. Good call, Jimbo. I think, it, I think it's a good call. Well, I'm not trying to be a critic, but I just uh, I didn't want to see you inconvenience yourself, especially where you didn't notice it, and I thought I might have. Yeah, tell me something. <laughs> I want you to tell me something. Should I put the dash in first or put the window in first? Do 
you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I do. I got, I've got both out. Um, I'm just wondering, if, can I get the window? Would it be easier with, I know it would be easier to put the window with the dash out, or am I going to yeah. get the dash in with the window in? Um, right here, I think. How, how close and how easy does the dash go in? And I think I might put this, put it in like that maybe instead of, So just, okay, we'll just do it that way then. Shouldn't hurt nothing. Huh? That's all good. Yeah. Good call, Jimbo. Good call. It might not matter. Like, you might be able to do it either way. There, It looks like... The, the two might not. I didn't got it right in tight, as long as in yeah. a few threads. Well, maybe mm. I should have it in tight. I'm not sure. Don't think we should have another chain going across here? I'm not sure. Should I? What do you think? Yeah. Well. Well. We'll see or what maybe happens. maybe go ahead to here. I'm just trying to be, be centered. That's all I'm thinking. Yeah. I think maybe that. Might be closer to center. Of the engine? Yeah. Because he's back, and if you go ahead to here, it kind of... Okay, you're back. Well, okay, maybe I will then. How many people does it take to put in a light, light bulb? <laughs> well, one to hold the light bulb for sure. Yeah. If you want to three or four to turn the chair, I guess. Yeah. Well, see what happens. Main thing, I get it in and try it. That's all. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. What's today? Today's Friday. Yep. Uh, the tenth. The tenth. Yep. Did you bring your tablet with you? Yes. Joey's gonna do a little. You're gonna do a little schooling today on that um, thing, right? A Joey's little gonna... bit. I might have enough brain capacity left after all this. <laughs> is that same thing as the flux capacitor on the on the, yeah, on the time machine? It, it sure is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gigawatts. Gigawatts. Yeah. You got gigawatts. <laughs> um, you. No one knows the dash better than you. So well, if you think the dash can go in after the windshield, or if it should go in before, so what you're doing is you're, I would say it's your call. Because you're releasing your your. No, I don't know how easy where the bolts are or how easy it goes in. So if it goes, it shouldn't make any difference. The windshield and the dash should have nothing to do with each other. But the particular there's some close. <laughs> in some ways, I would say the windshield should go in first, but. I don't um, know. I don't know. Let's put it this way. If you were at a shop and this car was put together and you yeah, had I to have a new windshield put in, they wouldn't take the dash out to put a new windshield in. No, they wouldn't. You know, so I would say put the dash in and then put the windshield in the traditional way after. I just hope that don't shouldn't break that. It's on the valve pan covers quite heavy, but shouldn't hurt that. Oh no, that just don't bounce it. Let's see what happens. If anything happens, you you've got us to change it. <laughs> You're hooked down here. I'm hooked down yeah, here, but yeah. the valve pan up, oh, chains up yeah. against the valve pan cover yeah. a little bit. But I can't see that hurting any. No. Me neither. Sometimes little chunks of wood work better than a rag, though. But, <laughs> you know, because the wood will crush when the rag just goes right through and hits the aluminum. Right? Yeah. So less tape next time. Actually, for the valve cover and the surface and the rag and the chain, the motor's light. If you had the transmission on there, it's a little heavier. You know, like. Gotcha. We'll see. I just hope it fits. That's what I hope. Also, now, if this was a tin, chrome tin valve cover. Yeah. I'd say no. You'd have it dented already just by having it lean against it. There you go. It's even going to take off, is it? It's 
are going to be all wobbly. Just kind of wondering if we got the engine, if it's going to center and balance itself, or if it's not going to balance itself, or don't let it down. No, 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 you're tight. <laughs> I was just checking to make sure it wasn't loose. I haven't got steel toes on this morning, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> no, I wasn't. And, I, and I'm known for that, so. Take off is it here in a second? Yeah. Right now, would you? That just as balanced as ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, good call, Jimbo. Good uh, call. If you want this over here, we should do it while the motor's low. Good, another good call. Got any extra rags or gloves? I'm just going to pull it over. No. Suck, Jimbo. See if we can't get it over with. Want to with, push with, that with, over? With moving it. Just give her a. Here, I got that. Yeah. Watch your head, Jimbo. Yep. There. There you go. Well, one thing about having the wheel straight there, it means it won't dilly dial, it won't go sideways in there. You know, it stays in line better having well, these I wheels. See, not I see turn. one thing that's going on already. I have to pump that front end up, and I haven't got the air hooked up on the front end because I stole it from your car. Uh, why do you I, have to have that up? Oh, can't, can't to get, get that underneath. Mm. So I'm going to take a jack, get a jack underneath that, and jack it up, put a jack stand underneath of it. That's do those I'm things doing. jack up any? No. Well, they're, they're, they're jacked up right now, as far oh, as they'll go. Okay. Where did I get the jack? I might have to open the door up. Yep. I don't get this wrench out of my pocket because it's jabbing me, jabbing me in the wrong spot. Okay. <laughs> Um, a little bit of fabricating. He built that car that gave him enough uh, relaxation to do the mechanic and fiddling around the body the, work. this kind of stuff. But without the creation outlet once in a while, uh, I think you'd go insane. <laughs> like you just can't put things together and be content uh, assembly. Like you have to every once in a while take a break and build another masterpiece I, and I, then take it and give it a break and then you can go back to the mechanic and I, I find like, like, I like that taking a break on yeah. certain stuff like I know when I work on things I stay there until I'm so burned out that there's nothing left of me you know that's what happens oh yeah you get so sick of it that you can hardly sleep at night you're so tired of it by the time you're done you don't even care about it anymore yeah. hmm. can't get, even get underneath the front of the Unless you do such a good job that it impresses you and renews your energy. I guess that's kind of the secret. I don't want to underneath the bumper. I don't want to do that. I don't um, want to do that. I do one side at a time, I guess. Uh, hmm. You got the floor so dirty, if you lay on it, you turn into a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <laughs> like, I'd be white as a ghost if I laid on the floor there. Where's all your blocks? Well, that's one thing I haven't got a lot of, Jimbo, is blocks. Yeah, your jack stands okay. are all too high. I'm going to lose a little, couple little ones right there. I got two small ones there, but I just want to see if I got two the same. The same would be the best. Next time I come out this way, I'm going to bring a box or two. Nothing but just nice little blocks. A blocks? So they're kind of handy because jack stands are this high. You don't always want to go that high. I could probably. I got two jack stands here. Might be able to get these underneath it. Maybe. Maybe. I wonder. Yeah, we can jack one side up at a time. Sure, we can.
could always lay your block that down and use that. We'll do one side at a time. But that would chip the paint, wouldn't it, on the frame? Oh, there's no, there, I'm going to repaint the frame anyways. Your I'm going to repaint the frame anyways. Nothing's affecting on the other side, is there? What's that noise? Door. Door opening. I think it's all right, but it's... These uh, sleds really look uh, really crooked. You just jack them up just a few inches on one side. It really throws the angle. Like, you just want to jack up a car that high on one side. It really doesn't change that. Yeah, I'm hoping I get this one on this side. Can I get that jack and he's there? That's what I'm wondering. Can I get the jack? Oh, pulled my wire. I do that once in a while, pull my wire, but. This one's a little bit lower. Yeah, we, I'll just use the other one. Not sure if I unplugged myself or not, Joanne. You'll have to check me here in a second. You'll have to check me. Come touch me, darling. Come touch me. Mm, uh, yeah. Huh? It's, it's not too much of an issue if you don't say anything important. <laughs> <laughs> Stop using so much damn tape, eh, Jim? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. That threw you for a loop? I just want to see if the paint was sticking. Well, it, yeah. It stuck, didn't it? Did you watch the whole video? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> what was you waiting um, for? See the tape come off? I didn't okay. make any comment. I, I was kind of speechless by the time I was done, so I just kept, I just scrolled on. Mm. That's good. In Pinterest one day, I came across this little picture of this nice looking little cat. And Pinterest? above it, you know, Pinterest, uh, pictures and stuff. Yeah. Um, there was this cat, and it said on top, it said, if you keep scrolling, chances are you'll never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> and I never did. I kept scrolling, and I never seen it again. <laughs> I felt kind of feel bad. <laughs> but the cat was gone? Yeah, yeah, the cat was gone. It said, if you keep scrolling, chances you would probably never see me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> Oh, I hate this, these hoists. Always had not good luck. Huh? Y'all make them damn fast, believe me. Uh, yeah, chance there, you'll never see me again. Yeah. Tell me if I'm going to hit the car, will you, Jimbo? Yeah, you're yeah. going to hit. I'll just get it all the way in there in case I drop it. Um, I... Good? Yeah. Well, it's, that's careful enough. <laughs> well, I've had it so it wasn't so careful. Yeah. Believe me. See the mounts, do you? 
When we get down close, I'll get one on one side and one on the other side, and we'll try and line the bad boys up. Yeah. You got it. You can go a little bit faster. You got quite a ways to go. Nope, not doing it. Well, I'm holding my breath, and I'm. <laughs> you use less tape, and I'm going slower. Yeah. Easy does it. What I'm trying to see if the oil pan fits the cross member, eh? Oh. No. That's basically what I'm going for. Oh, you know, lots of room there. We're hoping. Yeah, six inches, four, two inches. Yeah, you can. Good for the video, too, eh? Makes it go slow. We have to watch longer. About time to go for a commercial. Uh, two inches, one inch. So we're going back some? Uh, yeah. At Quite least, a ways. Yeah, for, ooh, slowly. Uh, you can drop down more now. Yeah. Do I need to come over, I need to push it over your way, John, a little bit? Huh? Um, not much. There, we're lined. Oh, got to drop for another half inch. Okay, uh, we'll put a we'll put a one on your side, Jimbo. We'll put a bolt going through. Oh, I was going to bring him down a couple lining up punches. Well, I watched you put that um, Jolene's car together and lining up punches. You like when you put a rubber bush in like a shock on, you just stick this lining up punch in the hole and wobble back and forth to line up the hole. Uh, yes. Yep. Can you shove that through? If, or you can't get up in there? Huh? Yeah, you're a little bit high, especially in the back. There. I got it. I think. If I push, push down the back. I'm going to go down this little down. Just go down a little bit further. Yeah, I can't reach it. Oh, there. there we go. Is it all the way through now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right Beautiful. Right side. Look at that now, would you? Is it, is it going to bottom out? Yeah. Don't say that. Well, this is why we're putting the motor in, isn't it? It is bottom out, isn't it? Yeah, you're going to bottom out. Or is it a bottom out now? It's bottom out there. Oh. <laughs> no, we got to... No, you're It's hitting something. Yeah. The so, motor needs to be on more of an angle, though. Right it's here. too it's level. Right yeah, hitting on that. On that one side. So I'm gonna let it down just a little bit. Um, is what? Where is it hitting? Where's bottom? Uh, it's hitting on the on the pan itself. So in I'm gonna take the front part of the pan. It is. From one side of the pan's got a 45. Oh. And one side of the pan does not got a 45. And it's bottomed out right now. We're like we're half. I need to take a and mark that and just take a little bit out of it. Um, or raise your engine mounts on the frame an inch. No, I'm not doing that. No, nope. just just because they're, I think yeah. they're in place. I, well, I, it's easier to change the bracket on the motor, for the engine mount, than it is to change the motor mount. Well, or like, put the hole in a slightly different, like drop it. So but, one, one side of the oil pan. But your motor's supposed to sit on more of an angle, isn't it? Well, it can. It, it, it can. As soon as we drop it on there, it'll, it'll yeah. be on an angle. It can do that. I'm just going to let it down just a little bit more and see what happens. Because it's right on the oil pan, is it not? Yeah. That's on the oil well, pan Well, right this now, is sure. the reason why you're putting it in, to, to, to get see, a reading. To get a reading. You said it. I, I can probably put that through. Pull that back, John. See if I can get So 
So it's way, what do you mean? It has to, this moment has to come down. All right, let's take a look. But it's not, is it hitting that arm? Is it hitting my steering arm? No, it's not hitting the steering arm. Nope. Well, geez, I'll tell you. Some close. But close is what it's all about, isn't it? What has to happen is. Make that side come up. Yeah, I can do that. That would just bring it up a little bit if I take the motor mounts off and put a spacer in between the, the motor mounts itself and then bring the... It wouldn't change the motor mounts, would it? Bringing it, no, it just brings it down further, would it not? What I've got, you can see it right here, John, if you want to see, right there on that corner, see on the oil pan, you can see right on the corner where it's hitting that cross member, that's exactly where it's hitting. But we're that close. I could take and cut a little piece, I can mark that with a marker, pull it back out, and cut a little piece out of that. So it'll slide down in there. You know what I mean? Just take, and, you know, take a little chunk out of that cross member um, and put it back in. But then I have this part right here. Come look at this piece here, Johnny. Chad, your oil pan's plenty low. Lots low, isn't it? it it's plenty low. Like yeah. the bottom of the oil pan is actually a smidgen below the frame. Yeah. It, it, the motor could be up a little bit. Yeah, and you can see the steering. I would say the motor should be up at least half. You can see the steering is right underneath the oil pan. See it right here? Steering right there is just underneath of it. I probably, what I should probably do is put some spacers in between the motor mounts themselves and just well, build an adapter on your engine mount on the motor to drop, to raise the motor even right. an inch on an angle. Like, well, I don't, I don't have to, don't have to be an angle or anything because it'll fit down on it. As soon as it bolts up, it'll be on an angle because it has to come yeah, down. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But, the motor but mounts. I mean on an angle so that when it goes up, it still lines up with your motor mount. Right. But what your I'm, oil pan is plenty low. It's below the frame, and it shouldn't really be below the frame. Right. You know, and it is sitting low, plus you're even hitting the cross member, so it wouldn't hurt to have your motor sitting a little bit higher. Take the motor, out, take the motor mounts off, put spacers in there, and then drop back down on? Um, or, or unless that, that brings it out too far and well, your holes won't line up. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Will it do that? I think so. That's why I said you had to kind of make it on a little bit of an angle so that the bolts still go. The, the bolt hole has to go up and down, but your motor mount's on a 45. So when you put a spacer block there, you have to kind of put the holes in a different spot because as you go out, you're going out when you've got to go down. It's harder to explain than it is the actual fact, but you can't just put a spacer on it because the holes will go out and you've got to go down, not out. Well, the holes are slotted on the motor mounts, if you can oh, tell. okay. They're, they're slotted a little bit, like they're, you yep. know what I mean? They're slotted a little bit, so you could... No, that... And it's not that much, like it's... I know. Well, the motor should sit up, I would say, an inch higher. So if you can, you know what I mean, like just an inch, and that would bring the oil pan up and give you all kinds of room for clearance, because the motor is sitting plenty low. Well, I've got an intake that's about that high. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it, most intakes are right up to here. I don't want that. Oh, you got a cover. I here. got a covering to go over top of that. Yeah. So. Actually, all you have to do is make it high enough to miss down there, and it'll probably be all right. That's what I'm thinking. But your oil pan is plenty low right now. Yes. You know, you don't really want the oil pan lower than the frame. Yes. You know, so it should be up a little bit. But I'm agreeing with you, yes. To do the geometrics of the motor mount on an angle with the holes and go up an inch is uh, beyond me. I can't, I almost have to just 
fit something and then mark it and then put holes in. Well, I'll tell you. I can't. I don't understand it. If like, I shimmed that, if I shimmed that motor mount down right there, if I shimmed mm -hmm. it down, it would fit that motor mount. You know what I mean? Can yeah. you see how it's... Can you shim, shim it down enough to raise the motor a little bit? Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to take the motor okay. mounts off and then see if I can... Yeah. Because once you get it out there, it's hard to get a reading. Like right now, you can kind of make a couple measurements and understand it. But once you get it out here, it, it's back in the guess game then. <laughs> yeah, it's back like right now, game. it's evident. Like you can see where it's wrong. But once you get it out here, it's guesswork. Oh, yeah. You know, so... Well, I need... I need to uh, take the guesswork out. I need a quarter, quarter of an inch. I need a quarter of an inch. quarter of an inch on that angle would probably raise the motor like three quarters of an inch, wouldn't it? Well, I, need a, I don't know. I need a quarter of an inch, though, I think, to, to get that engine off that cross member. That's what I need. I need a quarter of an inch. So I need to take the, pull the motor mounts out. And I need, I probably, this is what I'll probably end up doing. I have another set of those mounts, those aluminum mounts. If I cut those, I can cut them off and then bolt them in front of that and double the aluminum piece up, if you know what I'm trying to say. Because it needs about a quarter of an inch. Bring it up a quarter of an inch. It'd be great. I've got these right here. Do, 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 do. There are people that can look at angles and different things. I have another set of exactly how to make this exactly another set to of mounts. Be they are right there in front of my face. The movement and take you another know, set of I, mounts. Uh, I get confused. I almost have to take something else off and then just put a spacer. Yeah, just. This is probably what I need. Yeah, this that. is the motor mount to put on an LS. So if I stuck in, this is the mount, but I need, I need, this, I need this distance more, do I not? Um, Come up. Yeah. So if I put, so I cut that off and bolted this in between the motor mount and the mount I got there now, why wouldn't that work? You mean put that on top of the one you have? Yes. To add it. Yes, to and these are the exact same thing. Yes. It's just to give me enough. Are they slotted? Well, it's just. It's just an oval hole. I'm going to pull it out and we'll take a look at it, see what's going on. Can I pull that bolt out? So I need. I'm just concerned that the extra spacers are going to put the motor mounts too wide. That's what I'm thinking too. You know, we want up, up and down, not wide. And where that's on an angle, it puts it out too wide, so you almost have to. Well, it's actually taking it down. You know what I mean? It's I know. It's not going this way, it's going down. And also, um, the, the, the mounts themselves have got. They're beveled, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. They're not beveled, but oval. Come on out here. I want to wiggle that motor around there, Jimbo, so I can see if I can haul that out. Uh, Finger, fingers won't allow it. If I had a little hammer, I could tap it on the back because it's right there. Um. Second. Either up or down? We got a little bit of strain on it. Yeah, I I never took geometry in school. Strain on her. There we go. I'm gonna pull it back out. Oh, it goes up faster than it came down. Oops. Okay. Yeah, we're all done. Now? 
That good? Well, you can work on it now. Now, I'd love to pull it right out and I can see it better. Or take it up higher so I can see it better. So I can see where it's hitting. The, I can take a little piece out of that and slide it down in there just a little bit if you know what I'm like I can take a little piece out of that there like just take a grinder and cut down straight cut it over and then put a flat piece and with a 45 in it you know what I mean or if you can raise the motor enough to make it miss that's true you know, that's true you are plenty low I think so I, what I have is is I have I have those plates right there I can cut them off and put them underneath the motor mount does that put it out too far, or you think? Uh, yeah. Huh? I think it'll go out as much as it goes down. Exactly. If it's about 45 degrees, it'll be out as far as it comes down. See, and we also got this hole here that's quite, uh, it's oval. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no way you can put this one over here and change the angle so that the hole is at the bottom instead of the top of this mount. Let me see. You know what I mean? Like, the hole's at the top of this mount. Yeah. If you took it off so that the hole's at the bottom. Um, no, it don't. But it probably doesn't accommodate itself for that. It doesn't do that, I don't think. Yeah. Does not do that. Like, so this is part of this. This is all one unit. All this. This is three unit. bolts. This stays on the engine. Yeah, but this that's is all three. one unit. Yeah, this. that stays on. You can't turn. No, you can't. No, that's but if you bring this out, it'll go out as far as it goes down. And right now we're in line. So you need to go, you need this hole right here. Right there where my finger is. Not here, but here. So you almost need to just weld another loop right here for your bolt, the bolt right here instead of here. Weld this in, put a washer, a big round washer right there and a big round washer here and put your bolt right here right where my finger is. And not even, like leave this, just weld two washers and put two bolts directly below those, right here, one inch. And even put it on a little bit of an angle so the motor sits on an angle since it's oh, little, straight. Oh, well, a little angle because of the, the, the rubber Yeah, mat. you don't want like, the rubber to all twist to make it. Like you want the rubber to twist in the middle of the twist, not twist it to make it fit right. But if you did weld, well, I, I'm open for other <laughs> suggestions. Like this is just an idea, but if you did well two washers right here, that would be two holes below those holes, about an inch. That would still line up because it would be directly below. Them are pretty thin mounts, are they not? Yep. They're pretty thin. I've got a couple of Chevy mounts over here. Because um, if you space it, you'll be going out too wide. And he wants to go directly down, and as I said, a washer, if the bolt was directly one inch, or like at the bottom of that, it would almost be perfect. Those are probably too wide. And we all know you can weld like a jippy, so there's <laughs> no problem there. Like a jippy? <laughs> those are too wide. And you think if I put the if I cut and put a space room time behind that, it's going to be it's going to bring it too wide. I think it'll bring it out too wide. As much as it goes down, it would go out equally because that's almost a 45, which is halfway. So out and down, 45 is halfway. So by bringing it out, you would be out as much as you are down. Yeah, but with this this hole is oblonged, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So that hole is not going to line up perfectly anyways. It's oblonged. Yeah. But you want to go straight down. 
Um, hmm. Just wondering. See if I stuck that in there. If I stuck that in there, I'd be it too far. That goes. That goes on the driver's side. There's the confusion right there. So if I take that and cut that off. And just stuck it underneath there, would it bring me out too far? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cause that is exactly 45, which means it'll go out equally as much as it goes down. Okay, so in other words, it would go out Yep. Well, the angle might be a little different, but the whole thing, if you put two in, it's going to come out one. So it will be that much. I don't. I failed math when it came to <laughs> problems <solved. laughs> So if it's on a 45, like Jim said, we get half. So in actual fact, we'd be opening it up that much. It'd be that much wider. Mm -hmm. It'd be that much wider if I put two of those in it. How long do you take to bolt that in there? Well, I have just said I'm ruining these. These are, these well, are how much are these? You just, why, why do you have to cut them? Don't cut them, just bolt them right in. Oh, you need longer bolts, but. Well, I need longer, longer bolts to bolt them in the back. You know what I mean? These, these, these actually bolt onto the engine themselves. Yeah, that's how I moved this. That's how the engines moved ahead. These, you buy these. Actually, you could run a bolt right through this thread, have hard against, and just have the two threads tighten up. Like bolt it in a different place. Bolt these two. Like, have a bolt that goes through that thread it there, against that, into that thread, as long as you hold it hard against Who? and tighten it in. Like, as long as it's hard against when you tighten it, it should line up with the threads. But. How you doing? Oh, here's the man with all the answers. Are you the man with all the answers? We got, we, we got some, a couple questions. Have you? I'll answer them if I can. If I can't, we'll ask somebody else. No, there's doing? no one else. It's just okay. the three or four of us. Hmm. I just don't. I just don't know if I want to ruin them or not. You know no. what I mean? They're, are they hundred dollars? No, don't ruin them, especially on an experiment. How you doing? What, what's the name? Dale okay. Yeah. I, I kind of thought so. You gave me so. a set of hubcaps. I did. I went to visit Jim. Okay. I had my friend to find out where he lived. Okay, right on. And We're just in the monks of um, motor mounts. Motor oh. mounts, and we got. The end oil pans hitting on well, we'll get you, we'll get the the new guy in on it. Okay, maybe so. We're hitting on this side of the on the oil pan on the cross member. Uh, we got the motor sitting. And, a and see too that low. spot right there? Raise it. I'm sorry. See that spot right there? Yeah, but it's really hard for me until my glasses switch over. Well, there you go. We're asking, we're asking the, the spot the, under, on the cross. Between. Yeah, this is this is hitting on the right on that oil pan right there. If oh. I put if I stick in. Make a spacer out of I one know. of these. If you put washers it, here, I could wash no it. Washers I'm thinking there. the same thing as Jim, shifting it over. No move washers on the bottom. Make another bracket to mount to that. Make you move, move your engine forward. Or back. That's, that's just my thought. A quick thought. I'm not saying it will work. It's just a thought. Quick well, thought. We, we need it. We need it. We need the motor to come up. You need it to come up. That makes it even At easier. Least make, you make, you make your square box and raise it up. Yeah. Well, well, that sounds easy, but... Well, the thought is easy in your head, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't let me on the end. I want to be over here. Huh? He's on the live chat, isn't he? He's on the live chat sometimes? <laughs> I'm on the live chat all the time, yeah. I am, yes. You don't just bolt that right all the time. On to there using the... Bolt for you every day? Oh, and it's sitting... Yeah, yeah, I can. So you don't have to cut it. I got a whole... I saw it just hold on to the box for him. I could. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. Take share. this off. Yeah, I don't have to cut it. Yeah, you're right. It goes together. And yeah. Bolt it together. That, that'll give you a clip. There's one right there and one right there. Yeah. Let me match it. Instead of just to see if it's going to work. That's what I'll do. That's not. That's not going to hit there, is it? If I take them two and mock it, just bolt them together, and then to put the motor mount back, and I have to put a longer bolt and put it bolt through both of these. That's right. And you're not ruining that. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'll just pull it, put it on, check it. Can I see that? 
thing to do. Sure you can. That bolt's right on. Show me how it mounts. Show me. There's oh, one right there. Grab that one. It's identical to the one that's already on show there. Show me where it mounts. So well, it's right there. It's it identical. Here? No. no. It's right there. Oh, Same thing. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to bolt this on bolt this piece here yeah. right on top of that one with this bolt here and that bolt there so you're and, gonna put it here? and we'll put it on top and then we'll bolt our mount back on that will give you that much clearance that'll right? give us that much more clearance but it's coming out also going down so we're but these are slow oh i see what you're saying yeah, yeah yeah so you're gonna lose like the distance that you raise it up to so oh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna lose we're gonna lose it what no actually we're gonna gain on both how wide it is mm -hmm. and how far but they're so yeah that's what I'm is that a factor down here that you had? I mean, no, it's an aftermarket thing that I cut off or something. You got that from Speedway or something. I did so, you know, yeah. They, they're they going to work. It's just yeah, um, the, the oil pan itself is hitting the cross member that I welded it to. Yeah, some of it probably find another oil pan too. Somewhere. Well, if I don't have to no. change it, I don't exactly. want to. No. You don't want to spend money if you don't have to. <laughs> you, you're talking about kind of licorice now. No, right? I, everybody's cheap, right? When it comes to this kind of <laughs> Are you calling me cheap? No, no, I'm just saying that we are, right? We're all right. Well, I mean, like, let's face it. If I can fix it, I'd rather fix it than... You know what I'm trying to say. If I can fix it with just doing something that's pretty basic... I, I see what you're talking about now. You can't move in. Those, the, the, those pins are black parts still on that? Those go right into that black... Yeah, the whole... Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go there. I'm going to take one off. Let's try this. I think I'm, you should make one, Jay. Stop it. <laughs> if I don't oh, pass him that air ratchet over there. Yeah, we'll get the noise going. Air ratchet? I don't see it. Or did I put it back? It was here. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah. It was here. Uh, and it's red. Um, no, it is. Yeah. Yeah, red. It's over there. Is it in the tray? It is so. Yeah. Good eyes. Good eyes. Yeah. That's because he put his glasses on. Yeah, just put a couple bolts right through there. Yeah. So John, if you got those longer. <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's almost. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I like bigger grade than that, no, actually, that's almost right. I, I've got grade eight. That's all. That's almost two. How'd two you pieces. know I only made it to grade eight? <laughs> it's the easiest way. No, I mean, how'd you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't say I missed it. How'd you know? How, how'd you know when you made it to grade eight? Oh, well, it sounds like me. I, got, I made it to ten, so I. Ate well, don't go in off. past. It, okay, yeah. I'm going to bolt these go like yep. John said. Yep. I'm going to take John's suggestion on this one. Oh, you're close I to hit the block there, there, but I think it'll. Yeah, I'm going to pull up a bridge water. These, them boys got them things pretty straight on, ain't they? Yeah. Um, that's missing the block in behind there. Oh, I'm just looking because I think it's. You don't want to crush and put a hole in it. <laughs> no. Scrape it. Yeah. That's a five-eight now. I guess we can just put that finger tight for now. Five just finger tight it for now. Finger tight it for now. Is it fifteen? That's almost the same as five-eight, isn't it? Close. Uh, I can just finger tight it for now, because we're just going to yeah. try it. Yeah. Well, you need you can put longer bolts in that now too. Yeah. Two 
too long. A, I cut that off because that one hit the frame or hit the motor. Two in it for now. See if that'll work. Because it's all coming back out. It's hard to believe them holes lined up on both mounts. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. It's on there. It could come tighter. What? No, they're. It's good enough They're for now. They're not doing anything, just a reading. But <laughs> you might always have to weld this triangle in and drill a new hole in it. That well, would, if, mean, if like, I have to come down on that a little bit and then weld something up or weld yeah. a washer on that, would be fine. Yeah. I don't really want to get heat on that with that mount well, on there, do I? Um, down here, that far away, if you keep the you know, blow gun handy. So I'm thinking, yeah, you try know, it. A little bit of weld, blow it off. You know, like don't weld it all and then blow you it off. You mean like I always do? Yeah, yeah. All right. There, you know, but hitting that, that'll get you back in because you, you kind of have to do what you can do. You, like, you don't have a big supply of engine mounts here to play with. That's true. I'm going to try that for now. Just set, check and see what that does. Get three more bolts. I don't think it's going to do what you want. Well, we are. We are. Yeah, that's... And the reason being yeah. is because, well, I could have welded that up higher on that, but I didn't know when I, I did not know when I uh, mm -hmm. put it together, I did not know because I had a 350 set in it before. And also when I cut it off, I might have cut a little bit of material away and we'll see. Basically, we'll see. That's the 15. I don't want that one. I want this one. Suspense continues. Um, if he has to, you know, it almost looks like it went down more than out anyway. You know, but we'll find out. We'll see. Stop it. I'm just amazed that both plates bolt up to each other. Oh, they're precision made. They have no choice but to line up. Well, they're two different, two different companies. Oh, well, that, the, yes, that's amazing. 
<laughs> that's yeah, that is oh, totally. two different companies made. Wow. Yeah, that shouldn't work at all. Two different companies. Company and they just sell it to yeah, yeah. Maybe. Same, same company, different names. <laughs> I hit in the back side, is that what happened? Yeah. Now I can't see the hit on the back side. Now. Stranger things have happened. It might mysteriously line right up perfect and and make the understanding not work at all. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. You know, because part of this we do hope for luck and miracles, don't we? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always have a positive attitude when it comes to that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 it'll work. What do you do in the face of danger? Oh, I close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and close my eyes. When you're on a snowmobile, right? High-speed motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> Done it and survived, or I think. You're still here, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't do it anymore, though. If, if it works, if we it can works. pat ourselves on the back. What's that? You can pat yourself on the back if it works. No, nope, I have to pat Joan on the back for that one. Yeah. No, I don't think it's, it's going to line up. What? I don't think it's going to line up. Stop it. Well, um, we'll soon find well, out. You can we? always weld a little and drill and blow and make move the hole a little bit. I can. Because that would be easier than trying to put another mount in there if you could get a reading. Well, see what happens. That's all we can do. See what happens. Where where it is oval, it might it might still line up. I'm hoping for you, Jim. I'm hoping for you. It'll probably be like half and half, like a quarter inch bolt or a smaller, uh, like a little bolt go through the hole. So what do you think of the trunk like lid in person? The horse, huh? like they Thumbs won't. up. He's seen it in person for himself. Did you watch the video where he was putting all, taking all that tape off? It looked monotonous. Oh, <laughs> but he enjoyed himself, Tor though. <laughs> I can't get over it anyway. Uh, Jim was some man at me using all that tape. Yeah. All that tape. I understand. I said, why so much tape? <laughs> well, I don't line things with tape first. So I put my tape on my paper. And that so little edge is all, all it gets. Put right to work. It's, there you go, bud. <laughs> That's on Nova Scotia, that's us. Okay, now, are we ready to go down yet? All right, we'll just let her. Yeah. A little bit faster this time, Jimbo. It's going back, yeah. isn't it? Is it? Yep. See what happens. Backs him? Yeah. Now we need to go over some, do we not? You want to grab your side, Jimbo, if you will? We want to grab the other side, brother? Just grab that, grab that side of the engine, will you? Oh. my way too far. Yep, oop, yep, perfect. Yeah, straight down. 
Looks like it's going to line up. It? Mm, it does. Another half inch. Oh, I got to go down a little bit. Okay, we'll put a pin in John's. And just down just a little bit. Put a smaller pin in it. That way, where is it? Won't come out far. Where's the pin? Uh, oh, just a small. Right there on that. Boom, 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 boom. Jeez, it looks like it's all but lined up. Get it. Here we go. Think, John, you think that'll. Ooh, that's all. Uh, I think you got it. We need to get out of this uh, touch. Uh, it looks like you were right about the oval hole. John, going down, just down a little bit? No, I think he's got it. It's uh, just going to yes. wiggle a little bit. No, it's not through the last. Oh, it's not long enough? Um, Let me get you another one. No, it's a, Must have been. No, just let it, just let it go. Must have been on uh, like. Uh, let it down some bit more. Is that we gotta do? Side of the oval, and now it's on the other side of the oval. I gotta come up. It's just. Yeah, it's pretty close. There. What if oh, I I'll drop the motor down? Back what, down. What if I pull up on this side? Uh, down. Just oh, a minute. Down. Just a minute. Just back. Back. Yeah, back to just the a minute. Yes, sir. You got it. Wow. Sweet. I bet your oil pan looks a little better now. Probably about a quarter of an inch, Jimbo. Yep. Probably about a quarter of an inch. It's not touching. The oil pan is, yeah, it's about right on with the frame and close. It was below. It is below, like in the front, but when it gets back here, like. But it was below. And that is missing that by <laughs> by about quarter of an inch, not quarter of an inch, probably a little better than eight. I think that's good. It does. Well, I think that's awesome. Good thing we all showed up, or you would have wasted the whole day. Yeah, it fits. Yeah. Yeah. Five brains is five brains on a problem that's better than one. It makes it easier. That's holding that. No problem. Good. Awesome. That's gonna work. Obviously. That's gonna work. Looks Hot diggity better. dog. Yeah. I do. That's that, the rubber mount on the mat on the frame. It's on the the black piece I took off, that's the rubber mat. This piece. Oh, yeah, shoot him. Are you Tons. too high in the back for the transmission to go in there? I, I shouldn't be, but. Because usually the motors are on a little more. Oh, that's got to come down quite a bit, I would say, on an angle. Would, like, that's. got to worry about the. Well, the distributor's got... There is there one? The, no, no distributor on those. Yeah, you're right, Jimbo. No distributor on those. I want to let it's that down that a bit more. Where did I put that at? Box. On the floor? I'm just going to let that down some more. Well, just, yeah, just let it down some more and just see what happens with... I don't want to break anything, but... Oh, oh there. The angles for your engine, it came three percent, just three as long as the oil angle. is running back to the oil uh, pan, but just so that it don't take away from pretty the pretty close to your yeah. steering gear. There, I think I am on my steering yeah. gear, aren't I? Uh, drop down, yeah. yeah. I hit it I'm on steering gear right now. You're right, Jimbo. It shouldn't be though. Let's just put your mount your transmission, your mount should hold that up so it don't yeah, hit, but hit the there, motor right? should be on a little bit of an angle. 
We're not we're not hitting now on the steering gear, are we? Let me see. No, that's not hitting on the steering gear now. But it's sitting back. Oh, it's okay. Too far. Even if you made it straight, your car sitting back. Even what? if everything is perfectly straight, the only thing that happens is your U joints wear out faster because they're supposed <laughs> to be on an angle. Yeah. And what you do is every few miles put new ones in. Stop it. Every 10, miles instead of like, huh? Because that U joints are supposed to be on an angle to keep them rotating. Watch there, Jimmy. If you put the motor in level, every or just put the rear end in crooked. That'll make the drive shaft crooked. So the new turn. Hitting on the. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, can I set it back further? No, we're all the way forward. We're, we're all the way back. So, to be honest with you, the motor seems like it's got to come up a little bit higher in the back. The odor plate. The outer plate that you bolted into the inner plate, you could drill a couple of the holes and move that plate on the other plate and put the bolt back in. That would move the motor back. Good. Why don't you put the motor mounts on backwards? No, no they won't go on backwards. Be. But that in the plate that we just put on, you could drill a few of those holes and put that in different, like move that plate on the other plate and bolt it back in the exact same way with holes drilled in it so the bolts go through. And that'll move your motor back any amount that you make the offset. Like if you make it say half an inch, the motor goes back half an inch. And that will make it so the steering, because more farther back you go, the more room you have on that steering because your oil can goes on an angle. Your oil pan goes on quite an angle there. So if you went back half an inch, you'd probably miss the steering. Let me try the steering right now. I just, I just want to see how far I have to jack the engine up. The engine's laying back, right still, right now. Is it hitting? But look at the angle of the oil pan. Hit now, ain't it? A little bit still. If the motor was back half an inch, would it miss? Half an inch? Probably. Spindles on the front? The original, I would say. Are they cast or are they loomed? What are they made of? Are they steel? Yeah, probably. Can you bend them? And I'll just bend, take it down some, would it not? Yeah, that's all you need, right? Well, this thing has got a, I don't know what kind of arm it's called. Um, well, the box is on the other they, side, right? They don't usually bend, I don't think. Like those. Just a thought. Yeah, if you can you can bend uh, you can bend those arms. Like I'm, okay. I've seen them be bent before for sure. I know what he's talking about. But this has a well, you'd have to, you'd have to bend that Pittman arm. There's another. There's a Pittman arm that comes off the, the steering box, and then there's yeah. a, another bracket that's on the frame on this side. So it has like two Pittman arms. Yes, well, and one's a steering box. Too, yeah. but sometimes they call so that'd be dragging. four pieces. You would have. Take a look right. Well, there's a piece. There's a bar right. Right there, see, see it all comes off the frame. There's another one right there that holds that in place. And there, I don't know what that arm's called. It's called. It must have two Pittman arms on it. One on the steering box. Oh, I you say, oh, what is that? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. How about we just call it? It's another one. Yeah. Well, one thing for to sure, it. your call on fitting the motor was important. Can you get around there? <laughs> yeah, before you get yeah. everything painted. Oh! Can you get there? Not hitting now, is it? Yeah, it is. Pretty. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um. Well, this. Well, that steering arm. Just a minute now. Just a minute now. As I'm as I'm doing this. Okay, that steering arm is down just as far as it can go. Okay, so so the air ride would take it up even higher. Oh, that misses by plenty. Unless it turns when it goes when it turns. But that that's missing by half an inch or more. <coughs> when when 
<laughs> the suspension goes, is that going to that going to change that? No, it's going to change nope, this. No, nope, that stays that's the, the frame. Okay. That it's just frame. it's just touching it like a little tiny bit. But then again, what's that? Change the pitman arm. And that pitman arm, you put an arch pitman arm onto it, you put your steering gear down. You know what I'm saying? You've only got one piece of plastic instead of a whole bunch. It's so close. And, I, you know, there is another oil pan that you can get. There is another oil pan. Well, that's so close that you should be able to find the just to make it miss because it does miss. You just need it to miss a little bit more. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Jimbo. No, it, it's not that it doesn't fit. It's a just, little bit of movement and that's just steering, something that's has to be tweaked so that you can get the other fence right there, right, to give you enough. You don't need very much, do you? Like, yeah, that's, that's what I do. That, my choice would be to bend the pitman arm a little to give you enough clearance oh, for you. I don't know. Yeah, I'd try to go back to the motor mounts. Like, where we know the motor mounts work 100%. You can take it back off, take that odor plate that you just put on, and move it ahead half an inch and drill the necessary hole so everything still holds up. And that'll put the motor back half an inch, which will put the angle of the oil pan to miss the steering. I can get it I can get a different oil pan. There's a different oil pan with a slenderer all with that more level. This is a truck oil pan. And I might need to get a car oil pan. If you know what I'm saying. Well, it's, yeah, it's not down as far. Like, it might, you know. Was the LS ever in a car? Well, boy, it, like, it's not Corvette like Corvette and, and Camaro. No, no, I don't know no much about sheds. I'm a Ford guy. So. See, it, it's not that it doesn't fit. It's just that it's too close. You know, like, that's all. It, it actually fits. It just needs a little more room. What about your jack up shed? What's that? Your car is jacked way up in front of you. Yeah, I'm not going to have well, the right I'll angle. Well, by the angle of the car, the motor's usually a little bit more angled than that. You know, usually they're always a little off. Oh, I see his side end, I see his. What's that? The angle is kind of messed up because you've got your tires on the lift. Yeah, we're so way up in. Raised up in the air yeah, but I'm going by the looking at the car. The motor's very level with the car. You know. Yeah, I think that, um, to me, it looks like it's up in the back right now, the engine. Yeah, a little bit. It looks pretty even. It looks pretty straight. And that's awful close to your transmission hump. Too. It definitely it's is, isn't it? Those transmissions are quite bulky on top. I'm wondering why. They always take more room than they look. And see, if we drop it, then we have to come back. And when we go back, the transmission's even closer, so. I had a motor. Yes, your call for fitting the motor was right on the money because it, it is the thing that has to be dealt with before you can move on. <laughs> Son of a gun! But it does, technically it fits. It works. It just not yep. quite good. It needs a little bit more love yet. Um, the oil pan. I'm thinking that I can get another oil pan so, that's thinner. And that's in the front. It's thinner. And the back, I think. Right. Well, this is plenty of others. Yeah. So it would, it would go for another oil pan. So the other oil pan is what, $500? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you yeah. You can always use this oil pan on another motor or another build, like the next one. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, where this oil pan, you haven't heard it, you might be able to just try to send it back and say, I want the other one. <laughs> I don't know if that works. works that way, Jim. <laughs> what are we at? All right, let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. Well, we got the we got the motor in, um, and the, the the spacers or two mounts sort of worked. Yes, it did. It got the motor in there. Yes, it did. The steering is so close that it's so close. The steering is so close. Uh, yeah, it's that. That's how it is. Now it's so close. Put an eighth-inch plate there and, draw, and raise it up another in, in a little tight bit. Like you just put a quarter-inch plate on there. You put another eighth-inch plate in there. 
It raised it even a little tiny bit more. It does so. It takes away what it so takes away. It, doesn't it take away from the transmission tunnel when I start oh, raising it? Yes, it does. Sort of. Everything is this yes. way, isn't it? Alrighty, everybody. That's the. Uh, that's where you. That's where we're at. Fitting the the motor and the transmission or the tran the motor in, and uh, it's kind of. Did that fall? We're back and forth, back and forth. I think we need a car oil pan. It couldn't. We'll have, see what happens. Dane said something about that, that the, the other oil pan because is available. I'm not sure if that changes the pickup and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it was kind of cool to have um, no, Dale Beaver here no, from the, he's, he's from the live chat sometimes I see. Oh, uh, no, what's that? That's cool. Oh, yeah. He was here and helping out. John Gregory, you have won a Hatter shirt of your choice because you give a comment. We want to thank you very much throwing in a comment. That's why we give a Hatter shirt away. John Gregory, Elvis is looking good. I was looking at some Mercury's the same years as yours with factory paint jobs, and they also had a lightning bolt of different colors. It's going to be a sharp paint job. Can't wait to see the finished automobile. Me neither. Uh, I think the ones with the Thunderbolt on the side are Canadian Fords. Uh, this, this is a Mercury. It's got a little different body style. It's got the quarter panel that sticks out a little bit. Uh, the Canadian Ford was like the 56 Ford, but yes, you are right. Thanks for throwing in a comment, John Gregory, and we'll see you tomorrow.